morning, everyone. Welcome to our Parent and Character for Corner. Today we are talking about supporting infant brain development. With special thanks to research, we have learned so much over the years about the way an infant's brain develops. Today, and I'm going to use the guidance provided by Caring for Kids at caringforkids.cps.ca, they offer a resource to educate parents on how they can support healthy development. As your baby's brain develops, begin, beginning in the womb, there are millions of connections being made. But these connections don't stop at birth. The experiences within the early years have a great effect on the wiring of brain pathways. The connections of these brain pathways can influence the way they learn language, the way they solve problems, and eventually how well they perform in school their physical and emotional health, and how, how well they get along with others. So what's a parent to do? How can you, as a parent or caregiver, support the healthy development of these brain pathways? Here's a few ideas. The first one is to be aware of the environment in which your baby is developing. Did you know that even babies, little itty bitty babies, can experience stress? It might seem strange to some, especially those of you who might only experience stress in the workplace, but it's true. Babies too feel stress. What you need to know is that some stress is okay and some stress is problemat problematic. So the stress that's okay for a baby's brain, this is the sort of short-lived everyday stress. The short moment of panic between feeling hungry and having food prepared or that new loud noise coming from the next room. These sorts of short-lived stressors are unavoidable, and quite frankly, they are okay for your baby to experience. But then there's toxic stress, which differs in its persistence. So toxic stress creates an unsafe and frightening living environment for the child. And examples of this are extreme marital conflict, poverty, abuse, neglect, violence, substance abuse, or having a parent with an untreated mental illness. So if you feel concerned about the situation in your home for your baby's health, um, healthy brain development, please do not hesitate to reach out to your family doctor or us here at the center and we will connect you to safe and appropriate resources. The second thing you can do is establish healthy attachment with your baby, ensuring that you have a loving, consistent, and positive relationship. So this relationship between you and your child or your infant is so profound that it can actually protect your baby's brain from the negative effects of stress. Responding warmly, predictably, consistently to your baby and creating routines will help babies feel safe. It shows them that they can count on you when they are sick, upset, distressed, and that you are going to meet their needs. To establish this, you can practice responding to your baby in both the happy, cute, babbling moments, as well as during the screeching, loud, discomfort moments. The baby needs to understand and trust that you will be there to support them as they explore the world around them. Number three and final, is to provide good food and wholesome activities. So for information on feeding your infant, I encourage you to check out the links attached in the description. Whole foods that are nutrient rich uh, are a great addition to the formula or breast milk plan that you have established with your family doctor. As for activities, Caring for Kids describes this so well as they say, and I quote, the loving, smiling faces of adults who respond to them are the best toys ever for infants. Many electronic toys and shows are marketed as educational for babies, but there is no research to back up claims that these products help babies learn. Watching a screen is passive. Babies need to actively interact with you and other people in their lives and explore their world. In fact, screen time is not recommended for children under the age of two. So you can visit the link to learn more, but I want there to be one strong takeaway message from this chat today. 
The bond that you create with your baby is so important. Be sure to find lots of screen free time, meaning you with your baby without your phone. Respond to your baby's cues and needs and off offer them constant unconditional love. If you have any questions or any concerns, you know how to reach us, but I've also attached a link for Niagara Parents. You can call them or live chat with them at any time to ask questions and receive research-based responses from public health nurses. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week.